as we know, our Prime Minister has um, instructed us to minimize our movement and of course this uh, instruction uh, also affect us as uh, lecturers and all the students in our university. How can we reach our students during this crit critical time? Basically there are two ways, what we call synchronous and asynchronous teaching, online teaching and learning. Synchronous teaching and learning means any activities that you use online um, and the students and lecturers can communicate, can interact simultaneously, can, can actually um, communicate uh, in real time. So the student can ask questions and the, the, the lecturers can uh, answer the questions in real time. At the same time, simultaneously. So that is synchronous teaching and learning. And uh, for synchronous teaching learning, we can use uh, uh, online uh, meeting platform, for example, Zoom or WebEx. And our university, USM, University of Science Malaysia, uh, has um, subscribed to WebEx. So any lecturers that um, has been registered under the WebEx account can use that platform to reach their student. Uh, it's a very simple and uh, very easy to use. Uh, provided you have a laptop, you have a smartphone or tablet, you can reach your student anytime and anywhere. The second one is what you call asynchronous online teaching and learning. Asynchronous teaching and learning refers to any, um, any activities that you do online, but there is no um, real-time uh, real uh, communication between you as a lecturers and the students as a learners. So, for example, uh, for um, asynchronous teaching learning, you record your videos, um, talking head video for example, or you can record your PowerPoint, uh, PowerPoint slide presentation with narration and your video, and you convert it into to video format, and then you upload it into e-learning portal, and the student can access to that materials anytime, anywhere. But there is no element of uh, uh, real-time interaction between you as a lecturer and, uh, and the student as a learner. So that is uh, what we call asynchronous teaching and learning. So that is uh, um, the, the advantages and disadvantages for both uh, uh, methods of online teaching and yeah, online teaching and learning. And uh, uh, for those who want to learn about how to convert your PowerPoint slide presentation, and uh, uh, convert into a video format you can uh, you can learn it very simple uh, you can click this link and uh, you can learn from that all right i think that's all for today um, see you again in the next video bye bye Last year, each other's lives, both dancing to the beat, so